Do not forget to subscribe to Rajshree Food and for regular recipe notifications, click on the bell icon. Today, let's make thukpa. For the uninitiated, it's a Himalayan noodle broth which is extremely popular across seasons. Hey guys, this is Barna Namdar and welcome to Rajshree Food. While making any soup, what's critically important is getting the stock right. The clarity, the flavor, the taste, that's of absolute paramount importance. What I've done for thukpa is taken cold water, added some onions, mushrooms, carrots, cabbage, star anise and a knob of ginger. This stock is bubbling for the last 10 minutes, 10 more minutes to go. In the interim, what I'm going to make is a thukpa paste. For this, the first thing that goes in is some tomato. I'm following this up with sliced onions along with this some ginger and cloves of garlic the next flavor is Thai chili well this one is extremely spicy it's called the bird's eye chili but you can use any chili of your choice to this I'm adding in just a little bit of star anise we do not want to flavor it too much just keep it as little as possible and one of the most important ingredients is the Shezwan pepper or Timur I'm adding that. I have the crushed one of it. I'm using that. If you can lay your hands on the fresh ones, absolutely nothing like it. The last ingredient that goes in is some fresh coriander. Let's grind this into a fine and smooth paste without using water because tomato and onion is going to do the job. Well, our paste is done and ready. And if you notice, our stock is also done and ready. Let's strain that before we move ahead. Vegetables need to be discarded. And I am going to use the same pot. Put it on high flame. Just add in a teaspoon of oil. And that is just perfect. Allow that to heat. Once oil in the wok heats up, the next thing that goes in is our thukpa paste. Allow this to cook on medium flame for roughly around 3 to 4 minutes and in the interim it could be the time where you start processing the vegetables. I have done a few but I still need to cut a few more. Let's begin with green cabbage. We need to cut the pork choy either into half or into one fourth. With this I also have some young baby carrots which I have snipped. I have peeled, blanched and kept ready. And the last thing that I'm using here are some button mushrooms. Well, these are the vegetables that I personally like in my thukpa. Well, you can use any of your choice. Just cut these plainly into quarters. You could also slice these. Let's move on to the thukpa paste. Time to increase the flame and cook this for 30 seconds. Once this is done, we we'll start adding in the vegetables. The cabbage, bok choy and button mushrooms. Time to add in our vegetable stock. And along with this, our blanched baby carrots. This thukpa is going to take as much time to cook as much time the vegetables are going to get cooked. Time to flavor this and season this with salt and just a touch of black pepper. Allow this to cook on high flame for roughly around 3 to 4 minutes. One final stir and our thukpa is ready to be served. Off goes the flame. Here with me, I have some blanched noodles. The first thing that goes in our serving bowl is of course the noodles. As much or as little as you please. And this is topped up with the broth. And finally, some black pepper.
If you've liked this recipe of thukpa, I'm not the one to be thanked. Let's thank the immigrants of Tibet who got this amazing sumptuous recipe of soup to India. Do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to Rajshri Food.